All right, for the box, base, and the lid, actually, I recommend starting by creasing the edge all the way down on both sides. This helps keep the box from kind of bowing out after it's constructed. And once you have that, you kind of want to focus on these end flaps that have perforations there and you want to bring the end piece in at the same time so it's kind of the way I do it I put my fingers behind push in the little crease piece and see I'm already screwing it up I kind of, this is getting screwed up here let's go to the other end there that's how it should go successfully. And you get these little triangle flaps you want to push down. Once you have that, let's pre-fold the locking tabs. And then you just, you'll kind of hear it snap and lock into place. I'm gonna to try to fix this end piece if I can. There we go. Pre-fold, bend in, locks, and kind of crease all your pieces if you want. That's the base. For the lid, same thing. Kind of pre-fold the sides. This is just my technique. If other people have better ideas, feel free to post them up. Let's do that uh, the end. Get those triangles brought in. Get those pushed down. Pre-fold the locking tabs. Lock and lock. And do the other piece, other end, sorry. Push down those triangle flaps, pre fold the locking tabs. There you go, there's your lid. That's your lid and your base. kind of doing this while looking at the screen at the same time, so it's probably not too elegant. I should probably be focusing on the folding. So the, the insert has a, a glossy piece and a matte, a glossy side and a matte side. The glossy side faces up and what the chips sit on and just kind of go down and uh, there's, a, there's two perforations and then a solid crease. The solid crease is the top of the uh, insert divider. So here's a solid piece with two creases. So it's just kind of, there's, the, uh, there's the first divider, solid piece, um, or solid crease, two perforations. Solid piece, two perforations. Solid crease, two perforations. Crease, not piece. And then that just sits in your base. And the one downside of these boxes, uh, the inserts kind of want to pop out. Paulson's don't do that. Uh, but once you have chips in there, it sits pretty, sits pretty flat. Anyway, there you go. Hope that helps.